I'm going to go for one hit thunder. <laughs> okay. So one hit thunder, it all deals with things that we've learned along the way, making the one hit thunder podcast. So um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a, a, an easy one. This is round one. Um, not easy, but but uh, we'll see if you can get this. Patrick Swayze's only song, She's Like the Wind, was written by him, and he pitched it for every film he was in until it finally ended up in this film. Jarrett. Yeah, that would be Dirty Dancing. That's correct. All right. Good job, guys. <laughs> round one. Round one. We're, we're tied up at 100 apiece. I'm going to go at song, lyric, theater. Oh, your first video clue. These are the guys from the podcast 91 Donkey Lane. Uh, they acted out the, a, a plot of a famous song, and you have to guess the song. Hold on, ready? Five, four. It's all the same. Only the names will change every day. It seems like we weren't wasting away in other places. The faces are so cold. I drive all night just to get back home. Well, I'm a cowboy. <laughs> and to steal horse I ride. I'm, want, I'm wanted dead or alive. Wanted dead or alive? Well, I'm a cowboy. No, you're not. Nate. And to steal horse I ride. That's not a cowboy I'm wanted voice. That was your cowboy dead voice. Dead or alive. That's your cowboy voice. It, that's what I think. Oh, there no. were German cowboys. There, there, there was not any German cow. All right, you know, guess the song. I don't want to argue about this. Guess the song. Uh, that's "Wanted Dead or Alive," Bon Jovi. Yeah, correct, correct. They kind of gave it away in the <laughs> but okay, you got you got hundred points. They should have stopped before they said the actual song, but but uh, you get hundred points. Okay, cool. I'll go with uh, "One Hit Thunder." Okay, your "One Hit Thunder" question is. This R&B star went to jail after he, after he hired a lookalike to perform his community service. Chris. Uh, oh, shit. I'll just say R. Kelly. No. Chris? Well, that's who I was going to say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But, but, but I'll have I mean, to guess something else. I don't want to just lose 100 points because I already know that's wrong. Um, or do I lose it because I because I gave it away? Uh, I'm going to say Bobby Brown. Nope. That's minus 100 for Chris. We're, I know, we're I know. leveling, leveling I mean, the play. Those are both good guesses. They were both in prison, I think. <laughs> it, it, it was Mark Morrison. Who? <laughs> Mark, Mark Morrison, <laughs> Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. You know uh, Return of the Mac? No, no, you lost. Jeez, me I right, thought you guys right. would know Return of the Mac. Let's go montage memories. Okay, montage memories. In this, uh, Geekscape host Jonathan London, this is a video clue. He is going to describe a scene from a, a montage or something he's experienced. I should say it that way. And you have to say what the song is that, that was playing. So we'll, we'll play the video clue now. Hey, guys. Jonathan from Geekscape here, and I need your help. Remembering a song from when I was in high school, I heard it when I was at this karate tournament. And all I remember about the tournament was that there was this, like the loner kid from school, and he was on a team all by himself with like his Asian sensei. What was that song? The other team that he went up against was like all the dicks from our school that nobody liked. Uh, they were a bunch of bullies. One of them even cheated and tried to cripple them. Uh, what was the song? I can't think of it. Um, all I know is that the kid ended up winning the tournament because he had some insane move. That, uh, he did like one-legged. What is the name of this song? Hmm. Can you all help me think of this? Uh, what was it? What was the song? Karate tournament. Loner kid. Does a weird move to win the tournament. Hmm. The bully's lost. What was that song? Chris. <laughs> I, I love that he he went for the extra camera time and did it twice. <laughs> you know, like stay on this thing for a while. Uh, is it uh, you're the best around? Nothing's ever gonna keep you down. You got it. You got it. Points go to Jarrett. Nice job, man. Song lyric theater. Okay, it's a video clue. We'll start from thirteen. <laughs> 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Go ahead. I can't remember anything. I can't tell if this is true or dream. Mm, deep down inside, I feel to scream. But this is terrible silence that stops me. Now that the war is through mm. with me, I'm waking up. I cannot see there's not much left of me. Nothing is real but pain now. Hold my breath as I wish for death. Oh, please, God! Wake me! That's good. That's I was good. imagining, I was imagining we were that orphans. we were orphans. I was imagining. I was imagining my grandparents. My grandparents. Oh, so, so okay. take so, with that. Take with orphans that. Or grandparents orphans or grandparents sing the song. Sing the song. <laughs> Guess it. Guess it. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, one Metallica. Yep, you are correct. <laughs> one hit thunder. Your one hit thunder question is this: What all white rap group had a minor hit with "Tap the Bottle"? Um, not really that good at rap stuff. So <laughs> I would say House of Pain. Chris. Okay, Chris, for the steal. I'm going on the limb here. This is the only one I could think of. This is very obscure. I'm probably wrong. Young black teenagers. You are correct. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Yes, well, because because right. no one in the band was they were all white and they were named yeah. young black teenagers. I just remember yes. that name and I'm like, I wonder if that's them. I don't even remember the song. Yeah. Tap the bottle and <laughs> tap the bottle and flip. Hey, that was a good steal, man. Very good steal. That was a tough one. I think my mom and dad were big fans. Yeah. <laughs> uh I'll go with song lyric theater. Okay. Countdown from seven this time. Okay, seven. Six. Five, four, three, two. Let the sun beat down upon my face and the stars fill my dream. I'm a traveler of both time and space to be where I have been. To sit with elders of a gentle race this world has seldom seen. But they talk of days for which they sit and wait. All will be revealed. That was much better. I'm so glad you didn't do a German accent. He was German in my mind. Okay. Doing an accent. Okay. Oh, he was doing an he American accent? He was doing accent? an accent. He's an actor. Okay. Yes. So it's a German doing an American accent. Guess the song. Cripes. Uh, wow. That, all of theirs have been easy up until now. <laughs> I will note you still have your blue shell. Yeah, I'm scared to use that thing. So does it count against me if I use it? No. Okay, I'm launching the blue shell at Chris. Oh. No idea. Not even going to try. Okay. I guess that, no one got it. Sorry, Chris. People are really screwing you over. The only uh, thing I was going to say was Tool. That's the only thing because it was those were bizarre lyrics. But yeah. I know it wasn't right. I don't even know what I don't. I can't even name a Tool song. So it, it was Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. Jesus, I would have never known that in <laughs> a million years. Um, how did TV tunes go? Like, let's go montage memories. Okay, here's a montage memory for you. Okay. Jonathan here from Geekscape, and I need your help remembering a song from my high school years. I first heard it when, like, the new kid in school came, and he noticed that I couldn't dance at all. But uh, he started teaching me rhythm by, like, snapping my fingers. And um, I was snapping my fingers, and then slowly I started moving my feet. Like, even at night, I would lay in my bed and listen to music and try and, like, hit the edge of my bed with my feet, at the same time, I, I snapped my fingers, and then when I was walking around, like outside on like the basketball court, or walking around with this loner kid who I totally had a, like a bromance with, he was the new kid at school, uh, and we would just snap our fingers, and slowly I started learning how to dance, would hang out on the bleachers together, um, and like that kid taught me how to dance, and I can't even remember the song. Can you help me out with this? What is the song that the new kid in school taught me in order to learn how to dance and get rhythm? Hmm. Okay, so I, it's not the, so my instinct was to sing the song from 
the title of the thing, but the song he's listening to on his headphones is Let's Hit for the Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's give the boy a hand. Nice job, man. Oh, that was that good. Was, I, 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 it was Footloose, though, right? Is that the it movie? was the movie Footloose, and that, yeah. but, but, and I was, I'm glad that we were muted because I was just gonna start singing Footloose, and then, but, I, is that right? The song, it was in his headphones, right? That, that was what he wanted for the question. You're, okay. you're correct. Okay, you're correct, Denise Williams. Let's hear it for the boy. Good job, man. That was a hard right, one. Man. Yeah, Jared, give it up for him. Good one. 